Okay. So, race relations, who's at war with Thraxians? Everyone. Who's in the close federation thing? Anyone feel betrayed? No one felt betrayed? Boring regent. Military deals. Not accusations. Oh. Never mind. It's in an internal war. Hmm. Never mind then. Let's go and destroy a Thoraxian factory. Or capture it. It's what everyone's basically gunned for the majority of this time, so let's at least go and deal with this. So chemical storage ruins everything nearby. Communications bay reduces squadron deployment. Hydro storage hangar. Manufacturing outpost enclosure. Okay, so dock with all manufacturing outpost things. So we're just going to start off with Operation Clay. There's some very long range. Oh, those are sniper turrets. Okay. And then triplet range. Wait a minute. Can I also reverse polarity? Do I have that action still? There we go. That should start killing everyone else. With triple range, minigun should wipe out everything else. Auto fire, let's go. I'm hitting myself, but I'm hitting everyone else as well. This is the perfect strategy. With no possible wrongdoing here. You mean all the wrongdoing? Well, kind of. Anyway, let's let's start docking. We've AoE'd them down enough. So, it's not going to take us long to actually finalize this outpost for capture. The bigger thing that we're having to really deal with now is just that because it's going to take us at minimum 10 more turns to succeed in capturing this factory outpost, they might be able to actually overwhelm us defender-wise, considering they seem to have shots that ignore shields. I think. Not 100% certain. Alright, let's start moving. It's also nice that if you basically spend half a turn in the outpost range, it's not like it's a wasted turn. Because your turn will then end about halfway through. Oh, did we actually blow up the communications hub? No, we did not. Orbital bombers are stored in the bowels of this massive. Eh, maybe I should have gone for it. With the cloaking field as well. It's only a cloak for three turns. Eh, I'll ignore it. We're almost done with this anyway. Alright. So, let us toss this outpost at our Evok allies? No, they can't hold it. Hey, Peltians, take it. Take it and make use of it. And then Thraxians. Let's blow up another military station of theirs. And there's a special weapons facility, gives boost to all ships attack power. 
But that's not permanent. There's two of them. Three of them. Oh, it's movement, sorry. And there are missile shields. Aside from that, nothing else matters. So Operation Clay. Triple the range. And let Operation Clay do its job. Gravity Lances is the best against these, so we'll just open fire and get rid of them. Sorry, focus fire and get rid of them. Oh, did they already kill one of the Operation Clay ships? No, they didn't. Energy Blaster... Begin. Okay, so something either jumped in or jumped out. Either way, it doesn't matter. And Operation Clay is still basically bombing the everything heck out of anything. Uh, we'll actually swap to Minigun and auto-fire for a little while. I really wish there were other weapons other than these mainstays that were really good for these purposes. Because the other ones we have aren't actually that great. Anyway, that's another military outpost down. We need more guns. There's no real way to do that because the other guns that we got all sucked. Armor piercer wasn't that great. Disruptor goes through shields, but the Thraxians don't use shields. All this stuff is basically as good as it's gonna get. Can't we get uh, more stuff from Hydral Technology or Research or from Black research, Market? Research cannot. Black Market is a random chance. We can try getting more weapons from the Hydral Worlds, but it doesn't exactly help us at this point. Anyway, um, but since it is basically Will of the Council and people seem to want weapons, we'll go for that. As for the ability to just WMD Thraxians out of existence, it's still a case of no dice. The closest thing we could do is dump Toxic Waste, and that would still make most of our species hate us and basically tear apart the Federation if we do so. Which is the thing of why I basically said, unfortunately, I have to put my foot down and say, no, we can't do this. Because there'll be zero chance of us ever actually getting any of this work to, like, be good as we might suddenly splinter the Federation if we WMD. We have to fight a ground war, unfortunately. As for going for Hydrotechs, hostile actions, let's search the Hydral homeworld for lost technologies. We're gonna go full speed ahead, hold fire and go. Oh wait, it's cloaking. Sorry. What the heck am I doing? I have no clue. So we'll instead turn. Actually, triple range. Operation Clay. Cloaking field. Is Operation Clay really good? Do you like that? It is a good thing to have. I may or may not have also screwed us over. Excuse me. Just before starting the contract. Let's try this again. Shush. Pretend that didn't happen. Pretend I was paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. Oh, you mean you instantly died? Yes, because I forgot cloaking, do cloaking doesn't last as long as it used to. Because cloaking used to be one of, if not the most OP thing in the game. Get rid of these hi these hydral golems. Mini guns. Focus fire on golems. Wish we could actually. 
actually get rid of these golems just a little bit faster. But we can't because of their own stupid shot patterns. And their ability for their shots to just say, I'm going to ignore anything I've sent you with. Is there something that's just deploying over here? I think there's something that's just deploying from the Hydral Automata-wise. Interesting. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to triple range again. Turn on, pull up the Gravity Lance, and begin firing. Alright, that worked. And we'll swap to minigun auto-fire for a little while as the bullet patterns disappear. Switch back to Energy Blaster, clear everything out of our face, and get a move on. Oh, Operation Clay is still in this. Interesting, interesting. We triple our range once again. And we have more recharges available. If we sit here, Gravity Lance, we can actually just start poking at you from here. Operation Clay has a lot higher health than a lot of the other operations. It, it, it does because they're basically supposed to be shotgun frontline ships, except we just use them for hilarity's sake because they are very, it's just a very good operation in general. I was very lucky to get this uh, campaign in. Yep, and we'll see what we end up getting from this one. Alright, we'll switch to minigun, clear out everything that's in our face, hopefully. Hydral Hangar? Anyway, Gravity Land. Oh no, uh, triple range once again. Pop on a Gravity Lance, and then focus fire on the defense emplacements. Which would cause the bullets to start disappearing. Is there anything else here that's really that useful? I guess not. Let's start making our way towards the labs. Minigun, auto-fire to clear out the trash. We can move in, because... It's just not going to be enough to stop us. Shortwave virus to clear out all shots. Cloaking. And we'll just sit here docking. Oh, we can't dock while cloaked. Huh. Well, that I did not know. I guess I can accept it, at least. Multi-headed fabrication. Let us take a quick look and see what that tech even does. Because for all we know, it means jack all. The speed multiplier for construction or improving Armada's buildings and outposts for that race is boosted by one. And it's a technology that is not valid to be learned by any other race. That's all it is. But there's some more Thoraxian outposts, specifically those of science outposts, that we could donate to other species. Let's do that. Let's give an outpost to every race in our alliance, in our federation. Okay, I can accept this. Let us see. It's an, I, I want to get the ship storage hangar, because I would like to just get the orbital bombardment together. So I'm going to just proc a... That's a security station. Yeah, we can blow up the security station. It's not a problem. Greetings, Dal... Oh god, you have one of the annoying ones. Dalnorn, and welcome to the live stream. We hit triple range, and we'll just start clearing everything in our path. Minigun, auto-fire, clear everything that the Thraxians could possibly send our way. What's this one? Commercial communications relay? Hilarious. But greetings and welcome to the last Federation. And 
that's active for us. <laughs> Not going to be for active for long, considering they're going to be trying to destroy it. So did I just get or Orbital Bomber, special craft for bombarding the surface of planets. Okay, I'm not surprised that it blew up. What are they sending? Hurlers. Gravity Lance. Let's triple range again. I'll pull up the Gravity Lance this time and just continue auto-firing. My guess is those things are meant to be ridiculously hard to deal with. And Operation Clay is still doing work, destroying everything in our path. So let me just drop our weapons and just get a little bit of a move on. Operation Clay is so good as, like, a, the shotgun vanguard. Holy crap. It's true. However, the one downside is I can only use it once, and there's only two of them. There was a little bit more, they would honestly be better. They'd be a lot better if there was like three. Or maybe different upgraded stages for each kind of operation. Nope, operations do not get upgraded. So. You can only find different ones, but they do not get upgraded. I'm rescuing Thraxian pilots, which is utterly useless to all members. Alright, okay, don't lose your way. I don't want to have to restart the docking. Okay, good. Docking does not have to get restarted. I'll hit triple range again to allow Operation Clay to continue firing in spite of everything. Switch to auto-fire. That's right, you're weak to gravity. I still don't get how why it takes so long to even attempt to fire the Thraxian. Like, this cruiser's special effect is that it has a secondary gravity lance that can constantly fire. I don't know why it takes so long to actually do anything involving it. And we are gone. The devs need to patch their game. There's not a lot of need to patch it, though, because it's been out... Well, it should have been fixed for a long time ago, since it should have been out a long time ago. Or, it was out a long time ago, and they haven't released any real thing changes yet. Anyway, um, Burlust, don't have it. Hey, Burlust, take this outpost. It's a present to you. Hey, Burlusts. If I were to build you a couple more fleets, could you actually deal with this stuff? In fact, let's just... Eight, wait. Oh, you have a negative... No, you have a negative environmental. You don't have a negative public order. That's not a problem. Um, here. Get some armadas, please. Have some ships, because you need it. Basically, they've been in a dire need of them for quite some time. And the Acutians build a military outpost. And now that they have that armada available so they can actually like defend their science outpost to a degree, let's go and quickly grab the last science outpost of the Thoraxians. What do we got here? Hydral Stealth Shipyard EMP facility. And a Zero Grav Hospital. With a security station. There's... There's nothing here that I'm even remotely interested in. Operation Clay, triple range, let's do this. Gravity Lance is the best against this, so we'll swap to it and begin firing. Also, uh, I, I feel bad for, for not even doing this. Hello everyone in chat. Welcome to Brain Boy Stream. Fair enough. I mean, I think they're just happy just sitting back and watching for right now. 
Uh, so far, we're definitely trying to get ourselves into a position where this game is over and we can also move on to another one next stream. Admittedly, Last Federation is just kind of a stretch, and I highly doubt we're going to do that. Yeah, it, it all depends on how you play Last Federation, to be honest. Yeah, it depends on that. It also kind of depends on how lucky you get, because we've seen my luck sometimes. Because sometimes it just says, no, you're not allowed to finish the game yet, no matter what you try to do. AKA yeah. the Burlusts of last game, if, we ha if I have to remind you of that. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yes. And I don't want to have to go, I don't want to have to go full technology, like, monger, in order to try to win the game again. That could end up happening, though. It's infinitely less likely right now than it was before, because we're actively preventing the Thraxians from doing anything. Sure, they have two planets, but we have a lot of members in the Federation already, and they're starting to share technologies amongst each other. Yeah, they could also help them s each other research tech, so there's that. Which is what I just said. Anyway, let us continue. What is going on here? Oh, did I not get the last outpost? Or did I have to sit here for like two seconds longer? Oh, Wait. Yeah. How am I missing an outpost? I guess you're just missing an outpost. I didn't think... Okay, I must be stupid. I mean, it's very likely for me to be stupid. Uh, I missed the first one, apparently. So let's drop our weapons, boost our speed, and get on down there. Wait, that was the correct one. Excuse me, what? Alright. <laughs> Sitting here, tanking <laughs> like a madman. Uh, don't worry, Brain Boy, I'm also stupid, so I can't say. There's no target for Giga Cannon. I'll even hit Polarity Corruption and let them all shoot each other to death. Oh, that's right, because I used an ability, because that adds an extra turn. That's right. I hate these things so much right now. Where is Operation Clay, and why is it not dealing with the crud around here? Or did they just... they just went off in blind eternities, I guess. Our full shields won't actually do anything, so... Hit shortwave virus again. They went oh. into the warp. Precisely, hit shortwave virus again with full shields. Actually, you know what I think would be cool and interesting? If, um... Magic the Gathering had, like, a, 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 a Warhammer Fantasy or a Warhammer 40k, uh... In their uh, card game. Okay, can I kill off these, please, before they kill me? Because my shields should be a lot higher now. But it's ref okay. It's not better luck next time. Quick load, last save. Oh, you 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 died, I guess. I guess because apparently it just said no. You're not allowed to just. Ditch the Science Bay, Operation Clay, Triple Range. Bomb every- oh, okay, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Since they're so close together right now and all firing Polarity Corruption, come on, destroy each other. Full speed ahead with an auto-fire. Kill each other for me. Exactly. Okay. Let's go to the first one. Drop this in favor of shields and... Swapped Energy Blaster. Auto fire for a little while. The only real super high-tech weapon would be me sitting around researching all the endgame technologies. And I've already done a run where that happened. 
That was not a fun run. It was basically a run that never ended. Yeah. That no. and... They hit triple range so they can overlap their fire for a little bit. That would be boring doing it all over again. Unfortunately. So, super high-tech weapons, however, could also mean that we just boost a race to an absolute absurd degree. Uh, let's swap to minigun and just let the ships go to town. And if we triplet do that, range, they, that race will, will give their allies that technology, which means we won't have to do it. Oh, we'll still have to do it. The only ones that are actively giving people tech, giving each other techs right now, are Acutians and Peltians, because they like each other so much and are willing to just trade technologies with each other. We would have to get everyone else to like each other above 300 to pull that off. And that would take a long time. It would. Unless they're, like, doing this now. Anyway, friendly actions, so Acutians have already given, Andors have it, Peltians have it. Hey, Borings! Let me give you a present. Borings, take this. You'll love it. It's my gift to thee. You sound disgusted when you say this. I take it. I don't want it anymore. Nope. Nope. I can't just have them vote to join the Federation yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, the wording of this one. For the Thraxians to join due to medical desperation. If the Federation already exists and this race is in the scary level towns of medical distress, then you can get them into the Federation on the promise of improved circumstances. You must have at least negative 350 influence at the race, but you only have negative 1,200. Not worth it. It's the Thraxians. It's not worth it ever. Kill them all. That's why the vote is killing them all. Yep, yeah, the vote that still stands is kill them all, but I also want to get the Evex into not hating us, dumb. But, t oh don't, wait, can I just... Don't we also want the Peltians and Evex to like us? Okay. Peltians are already in the Federation. Okay, now I just want the Evex, correct? Yes, so can I just force this to happen with... Yes, I can just force it via the Acutians. Whoa! Thraxians are trying to fight. Okay, good. They've got ground power. They'll be able to at least force the Thraxians off their planet. Alright. Please, I'm spending an absolute ton of cash on this. And I... I want to believe... Oh, wait. This makes more sense. Friendly actions. So what we're going to do here is not harvest space drunk. We can't, ho we can't hold off an overwhelming attack. However, what we're actually going to do is we are going to... What do they have in negative? No wonder they're... Okay. They can't build jack because their economy isn't... Okay, we're just going to aid the local economy. No, no, no wonder they're not building things. They're economy shit. Yeah, let's just start fixing this. Alright, so... That's going to double their birth rate. Evex, you just had a banking failure. Why are you going through another banking failure? Why? Good God. Evex. Elders. The Federation is not at war anymore. Can, are, can, can, are, can, I think the Evex are going to be a lost cause soon. Are Evex special? I think they're special needs. Because so far, I cannot help them right now. No matter what technology I give them, I cannot help them any further, because they've just... 
You know what? Here, here. Combat optics. Take the technologies. Make it so your people have a just slightly better chance of actually fighting them off. And I'm going to sit here, work on your economy the entire time. In a way, experiencing which prevents this particular RCI value from being improved at all. Uh, you know what? Here, uh, local law enforcement, because I think if this goes up high enough, you can still get... You can still build skirmishers. Burlesque at ground power, and everyone is murdering the Thraxians on their home world right now. And the Whoa. Burlusks are researching technologies at an insane rate, and I just accidentally de dealt away with an event that I actually kind of want to see, so hang on. What just happened? Uh, brain. Where was it hidden? Logbook. Oh, Acution. No. Oh, gave technology for fiber optics. Oh, never mind. I don't know what happened there, because there was an event that showed up and then disappeared. We're just going to work on public order right now, and then just hope that we can get the Evix into a not-banking crisis. Because my influence is going to be super positive with them by the end of this. Alright, is, is there like a way I can just tell them to stop doing this?